and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV. Now, each week we'd like to bring you a first look, so here's John with his latest tech review. This is the new HTC Sensation. It's been eagerly awaited by HTC enthusiasts because of its new dual core processor. Looks pretty much like any HTC phone, actually all their classic styling cues are there, but when you go to put in the SIM card, you'll notice it's slightly different in terms of its construction. There aren't just uh, individual flaps, the whole back comes off and the sort of phone fits into that shell. You'll also notice while you're there that the battery capacity has been improved, which is a good thing. There's more for it to do on this phone and it seems to be keeping ahead of that just about. I mean, I found uh, I could comfortably get a day's use out of it, which uh, hasn't been the case with all HTC phones I've tried in the recent past. There's lots of improvements to the spec. That uh, dual-core 1.2 gigahertz processor is coupled to uh, Qualcomm's Adreno 220 graphics chip, and together they make the phone feel impressively brisk. The 4.3-inch LCD touchscreen has a lot of pixels. It's got a 540 by 960 resolution and a useful 16 by 9 aspect aspect ratio, which means that uh, movies you're watching fill the whole screen. It runs Android 2.3 and HTC's Sense user interface gets a mild upgrade. Uh, it now has 3D style animations and an interesting unlock screen. You unlock it by moving this ring into the centre of the screen, or if you move one of the app shortcuts into the ring, that application opens at the same time. There's an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and 1080p video, which is a bit of an improvement for HTC, though I don't think it's quite up there with the best camera phones. Overall, though, I think the Sensation's a great phone, and if you get one, you won't be disappointed. However, there is one small problem. I've also been testing Samsung's Galaxy S2, and so far it appears that in almost every respect it's slightly better than the Sensation, so I think most people will be better off going for one of those. However, I'll confirm that in my Gadget Show Web TV test, which will be coming up very soon.